Well, I think, you know, Bernd is in danger of exploding with passion one day. He's like so passionate that, and that's a great thing to have in a producer because it means that they're involved and he cares so much about this project and he's fought so hard to get it made that I think that's nothing but good. And I see the way that he and Tom interact and I know that Tom feels that support hugely. Um, and in a way, when Bernd isn't here, his presence is kind of floating around anyway. So, yeah, he's a great producer. Have you no faith in our holy mother This is not a matter of faith, there's a matter out right there. It was using my, they kid about getting by using our God given wits. Well, of course, I knew Run, Lola, Run, like everybody did. Um, but I hadn't seen The Princess and the Warrior, um, or Heaven. And, and then he's made a very fine short film as well that I love. Um, he's a remarkable filmmaker. Um, he's, a, you know, I said to him, it's like you're, you're not just in control of every frame of every film, you're in control of the milliseconds within a frame. So he knows the power just of an, when an eye closes and opens and that it, that becomes part of the narrative. So um, it's always exciting as an actor on film to be able to hand yourself over completely to a director. Of course, knowing that Tom Tickfo was going to be directing it, that was a huge attraction to me to work with him. And, uh, and I suppose I like stories about obsessive people. <laughs> And I think Rishi is almost as obsessive as Grenouille, in a way they're combatants. So uh, even though he's an unknown force, Rishi focuses all his energies on protecting his daughter. He's a father, and uh, more than that, he's a single parent. His, his wife died, we're not quite sure of the circumstances, but so he lives I guess quite a privileged life. He's a rich merchant and lives in a very big house with his very beautiful daughter. And uh, so I suppose the main thing we know about him through this story is that he's very, very protective of her. Grenouille develops one thing that he's confident in and sure of and a, a supreme expert in, and that's his sense of smell. Um, it's it's not right, but it's perhaps not surprising that he becomes obsessive because he lives entirely in his own head.